doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. I am at London Paddington, it is the 2nd of June, and I am now off to Wembley for the England Nigeria game. And I had a silly question on Twitter. Of course I've got my bike, maybe on the train, but I'm staying elsewhere in London tonight, then off to Liverpool tomorrow. Off to Anfield for Brazil against Croatia, so make having the bike makes life a lot easier. But yeah, just quickly before I go to Wembley, roll the intro. So guys, as mentioned previously, this is number three out of four on my World Cup guide for this season's upcoming World Cup with One Football. So for this video, it is Nigeria that I'm focusing on. So there'll be a clip here, which is going to be showing some information in app on Nigeria. Um, but as we all know, Nigeria has sort of gone viral the last few months because of their kit. Their kit is one of the best I've ever seen. Not the best. The best will always be Colombia whenever they release a kit. But it's really, really good. It's sold out in the Nike store, I think after three minutes yesterday morning or this morning, which is just ridiculous. But in terms of Nigeria and this upcoming World Cup. They've been in good form in their African qualifiers, so they've topped their group um, with 14 points out of 16. Um, but they don't ever seem to do well um, in the World Cup itself. The African teams do tend to struggle. Um, I remember when Ghana did really well back in sort of 2006 time, maybe? 2010? And obviously Luis Suarez for Ghana. Um, yeah, Nigeria have got some really good players. I'm not very familiar with their defensive side of the game, but in terms of their attacking attacking forces, they've definitely got some. They've got some top Premier League players in there, um, and players who play across across the world. Uh, the captain, John Obi who we all know, um, and a number of the attackers. So Alex Awobi, the Arsenal player, for example. So they've got a good team. So they are well, were more than capable of qualifying from this group. Whether they do so, though, that's another question. So. Let's see how they get on today at Wembley. I predicted a 3-0 win for England, but let's see how they get on at Wembley. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description for One Football, who have kindly sent me to Wembley today. Uh, massive thank you to them. So their links in the description, in addition to that playlist for the other videos on this World Cup guide. And finally, a link to Ellis Awayday's channel, who is going to be releasing the video tomorrow, um, featuring the next team in his group, which I'm not sure who that is, but make sure you go check it out. Again, massive thank you to One Football. Enjoy the rest of the video. Arrived at a beautifully sunny Wembley. Seen lots of Nigeria shirts, which doesn't surprise me. I couldn't get my hands on one, to be fair, I didn't try, but I'd love to have had one. Off to meet Visa now. And yeah, then we'll head in. Not sure what we're doing before that, but always oh, hot. <laughs>
if we film the goal, we can't really be seen on camera, so we're not likely to get copyright strikes. Go on, son. Don't hit the corner flag. Don't hit the corner flag. That's oh, a... Yeah. Oh!
it's the 80th minute at Wembley. We all go home. So since the 46th minute and Alex Iwobi's goal, I struggle to remember anything that's happened. Sterling got booked for diving. She's just dropped her phone. That is literally it. I only danced them out of it. It's been dead. So guys, I hope you did enjoy that match to experience from England against Nigeria at Wembley. It was a good game to go to. It was a really good first half actually, I was really quite impressed. Nigeria were terrible, but it still doesn't give me much hope yet that we can actually do something in this tournament. So things are going to need to step up another notch, at least for the World Cup. Costa Rica next week. I won't be going because it's in Leeds on a work night, so that's not happening unfortunately. But I hope you did enjoy today. So yesterday was the game, today I'm doing the outro and today I'm now off to Croatia against Brazil at Anfield. I'm currently hanging out a window in London. So if you did enjoy, please do leave a like. The next video on the World, World One Football World Cup guide is going to be... I can't remember. I'll leave a link anyway. Whoever it is, I will leave a link in the description below to the next video on the playlist. Also, make sure you go check out One Football in the links below, and also the One Football playlist where all of these videos have been stored. So, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like. If we could hit 100 likes, that'd be great. And I'll see you in a couple of days for the Croatia against Brazil game. Take care. Bye.